Hello friends, this video on heat part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So, conduction is just one mode of heat transfer. There are two other modes as well, that is convection and radiation. Now, we will talk about each of them. Now, in this slide, I will give you an analogy to explain the three of them. Now, when I talk about conduction, it is something like this. You have a person A, you have another boy B. They want to transfer the ball from A to B. So, how can this be done? So, this ball is nothing but heat. Okay, so now let's first try to understand this example in terms of the boys and the ball. So, let's say A wants to transfer this ball to B. So, how can A do this? Now, there are three different ways by which A can transfer the ball to B. So, the first way of doing this is he asks a lot of his friends to stand in between. So, they just fill the distance between A and B and then A transfers the ball to the next boy. The next boy transfers it to the next one and that is how it reaches to B finally. So, see A was here. So, A will pass on the ball to this guy. This guy will pass it on to this guy and so on and finally it will reach B. So, this is the first way of transferring the ball to B. The next way is that a friend comes in. There is this another boy and this boy will take the ball and this boy will carry the boy, carry the ball to B. And that's how the ball gets transferred to B. So in this case, you really do not need so many uh, boys to get the ball transferred. Just one boy is enough. So that one boy could transfer it to B. So here, this boy actually moved. So this boy actually had to move from one place to another. But in the first scenario, none of them had to move. Everybody was standing at their position and they just shifted the ball to the next person. But in this case, this person actually had to move from this point to this point. And the third mode of doing this is, ask nobody's help, you just throw the ball from here and the ball reaches B. So that is the third way of transferring it. Now, conduction, convection and radiation are exactly like this. So, conduction is this, is just like this first method where you have you have to transfer heat from one part to other part of the same object. Why right? same object? Because you actually have so many particles in the medium which transfer the heat. So the ball is like heat and these people who are transferring the ball, they are like the particles in the medium. So the medium is what? For example, you take the example of conduction when you have a pan with a metal handle. So that pan is made up of small, small particles, right? It is a solid. Solid is made up of all particles. So the particles inside the solid are only transferring the heat from one point to another and that is how it is reaching from one end to the other end of the vessel. So that is how conduction happens. What happens in convection? In convection, you really do not need that substance to be a solid but you still need some medium, some particles of the medium and here in convection there is actual movement of the particles of the medium. So you see actual movement of this particular boy. So that is convection and in radiation no medium is required. You do not need anybody. So here these extra people who, act, who were actually helping in the process of transfer, they were the medium. But here you do not need a medium. You just throw it and it will reach B. So you do not need a medium at all. So this is a simple way of understanding the concepts of conduction, convection and radiation. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.